Hey, what is up everyone? It is Raw Instinct here, and today I'm doing um, a Call of Duty Black Ops gun breakdown. I'm going to do a breakdown on all of the guns, um, show you what they look like, give you kind of a little visual image and a few facts about them and what I think about it. Um, I'm going to start off with the assault rifles here, and um, I hope you guys like it. Um, it took me a while to do this. I had to do all this in Photoshop and then import it, so if I can get a liking, a comment, and maybe even a favoriting, that'd be great. Also, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Um, I'll be having up another video pretty soon talking about that and if you haven't already please click the yellow subscribe button up on top and if this is on someone else's channel please check out my channel in the description all right the first gun we have here is the m16 um it is an american assault rifle and i think that's says 1963 to present um there are a lot of different models of this weapon and um the newer models are actually a lot lighter about eight pounds lighter which is pretty cool and um in black ops i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a burst fire weapon um, and I think there's two weapons in here that are going to be burst fire, um, because they always usually have two. But anyways, I really am going to enjoy this gun. I, I'm not sure if this is going to be the first gun you unlock. This is in no particular order. Um, but moving on to the Enfield. It is made in the United Kingdom. Um, overall it looks like it is a, a light machine gun, but it actually is an assault rifle. Um, some people think, some people thought that the Lee Enfield was actually the rifle that they were talking about in Black Ops, it actually isn't. I think this is the Enfield SA-80, I believe. Um, you can look it up a little bit more, but um, I'm really excited for this weapon because this is really great. I think they had this in actually Rainbow Six, um, and I really enjoyed it. Next we have the M14. Um, it is made in the United States from 1957 to present, and uh, most of you guys know this gun from Call of Duty 4. It's a great weapon. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to display the firing on it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a single shot gun as it was in Call of Duty 4. But I'm excited for this weapon to come back. Hopefully there's not as much recoil as the one in Call of Duty 4. That's what really gave it a bad reputation. But anyways, we have the FAMAS here. As all of you guys know, this is returning from um, Modern Warfare 2. And it was actually made in France. Um, quite a bit of people should know that. And um, it was made in 1978 to present. Um, great weapon. Um, this is a uh, three burst weapon and I think it can be in an automatic form I'm not 100% sure on that and um, looking at it I think there's about three weapons actually in the game that are going to be or three assault rifles that will be um, burst fire next we have the Galil um, looks kind of similar to the um, commando coming up but um, the Galil was actually made in Israel from 1972 to present um, this gun is not really used anymore um, it's kind of phased out but some countries still do use it once in a while. It's not the most reliable weapon, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, we have the AUG next, which, um, some of you guys think that the AUG is a light machine gun as it was in Modern Warfare 2, but they actually have uh, both a, a light machine gun and assault rifle version of this weapon. Um, it was made in Austria, and, um, the dates go from about 1979 to present. Um, one of the newer guns within these guns um, not a whole lot of modifications that have been happening to it, like, the, for example, the M16, which you have a d bunch of different models, and they made it lighter and stuff. Um, rather heavy weapon, actually. Uh, next, we have the FNFAL. Um, some of you guys may think this is the same one from Modern Warfare 2. It isn't a much older version. Um, it's actually made in Belgium, I think from 1953, I believe, to present. Um... Great weapon. I think this will be a single fire also. I'm not 100% sure. Um, looking at it, it looks kind of like a single fire weapon, but it might be fully auto. I'm not 100% sure. Um, next we have the AK-47, one of the most infamous guns out there. Uh, made in the Soviet Union. Um, first took its appearance in about 1949 to present. Uh, this gun is amazing. One of the strongest and most infamous weapons in the world. Um, and actually, I believe it was one of the most sold weapons ever to mankind. Um, gun has an amazing damage rate to it. Um, it's crazy accurate. Well, it's not really crazy accurate, but it has a really good damage to it. And um, one of the things that actually wasn't too good about this gun was its uh, kind of reputation as far as um, the gun itself and how it was built. It was built great, but it did have some flaws to it. Um, you can look up that. You can look more up about that. Next, we have the Commando. Um, you know, they just had the Commando, and not a lot of people knew what that was. So it's actually the AR-15, a different version of it, made in the United States. 
Um, I think that's from 1960 to present. They still do use this commando weapon. There's, like I said, a bunch of modifications that happened to it. Um, a few different versions of this weapon to this day. Um, last but not least is the G11. Interesting weapon. Almost looks kind of like an F2000, but definitely is a lot different. Uh, made in West Germany. And what is interesting about it is it's a caseless ammunition. Now, if you guys really just have to look up this weapon for yourself and just read about it, because it's it has a crazy design to it. It's it's just I could talk about it for like a half an hour, and I'm not really a gun enthusiast anyway, but guys, so please don't think um, that I'm a gun enthusiast or anything like that. But um, this weapon's insanely just original and different. Um, some smart Germans put this together, I can tell you that. But anyways, guys. This is the end of the first part, which is assault rifles. If you like this video, please subscribe, um, and you'll stick around for the other ones. I should be doing one for the submachine guns, equipment, pistols, uh, shotguns, and sniper rifles. I think sniper rifles are going to be next. But uh, anyways, guys, it's Raw Instinct. I'm signing out. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Peace.